This abandoned beach mansion, originally built in the late 1980s, has quite the strange story to it. In 2012, it was purchased by an Egyptian family that mysteriously moved in. No one quite knows how they acquired such a large amount of wealth. Some have said they were possibly part of the mob. Others say it was through fraud. Some even say they were heirs to a dictator. Several months after purchasing the home, it was devastated, along with many other neighboring houses by one of the largest hurricanes in American history. They managed to fix the home and even increased its value to over $7 million. To this day, it's still quite a mystery as to what this family really did to acquire their wealth, but what we do know is that a couple years later the bank foreclosed on the property. This house is definitely one of the most incredible homes I have ever seen. Not only that, but the story itself is incredibly intriguing and I just had to check it out for myself. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We are in this amazing and incredible abandoned mansion right now. By we, I am talking about Chad and I. Chad is currently taking a waz. Well, he was, he's back now. I came from the garage. Where he, oh, you came from the garage. Very nice cars in there. Yeah, dude, yeah. this place is crazy. There's a lot of stuff left behind. There's also some crazy story. What the hell is that? I just came from over there, there's no one over there. Anyways, <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff left behind. Crazy stories about this place. Uh, rumor has it that some sort of criminal at some point in time owned the place many, many years ago and then basically had to flee the country. Rumor has it they may have been from like the Middle East or something. There is quite a bit of evidence of that, but based on what we've seen so far just walking in here, it looks like they just kind of up and left. So the story kind of makes sense. I think they were doing some sort of fraud with the banks. Nobody really knows the full story. It seems like the story is kind of changing, but the criminal aspect seems to be right so far. But yeah, let's go um, throughout the house. Of course, go and subscribe to Chad too. And uh, yeah, smash like button, let's have some fun. Alrighty, so kind of starting out here in the front foyer. Freaking nuts, dude. Like, crazy staircase. A lot of clothes up there. <laughs> Got a uh, Corvette here. That's obviously Moe's car right there. Get a little more light going here because it is a little dark. There is literally stuff everywhere in this place. We got Spider-Man. There's obviously children here. Cool little bar. It's amazing how all the furniture is here. Incredible fireplace. Look at that thing. So clearly they were Arabic, Middle Eastern. Rumor has it from uh, Egypt. Stroller here. Looks like there's <laughs> what's left of a doll in there. It's unbelievable, man. Like, it's pretty obvious that whoever was living here up and left for whatever reason. Got a uh, piano here. Toys. That's cool. I wonder if it even still works. Yep, still works. <laughs> so clearly this house has been abandoned for a long time because you can see the uh, the dust and the mold on everything. Like it's just stuck to absolutely everything at this point.
more pictures. So it's crazy how there's like these shutter things back here. I've only ever seen that on one other house in Toronto. That one has since been uh, pretty well vandalized and destroyed. Got a tiger. Got what looks like pictures. Now they are children, so I'm not even gonna record that. Um, got a ping pong paddle. <laughs> Now check these out. I don't know what happened here, but yeah, those are like solid marble or whatever it's made of. There is an office back there. Uh, Chad's in there right now. So once he's done, then we'll go and take a look. But there's this pool table, a lot of toys, lots and lots of toys. So they probably had a few children. I don't know what's going on here. The dining table still here. Still kind of set up. Not destroyed yet. Damn, 78 inch TV. <laughs> now that's a big ass TV. I think the biggest one that I own is 65. Well, I have two of them in the studio, but. Plates and everything all still left. <laughs> oh, I love that. Thing there in the center. Oh, just tripping over stuff. What is this? Looks like probably kids' homework. Halloween story. And that was from 2014. Yeah, it looks like a kid's homework. More plates. Oh, it's a little too dark here. Yeah, I got more plates. High chair. Uno! <laughs> That's funny. Oh, picture of the kid. I'm trying to avoid as many pictures, but obviously some are probably going to get in the shot here. But yeah, neat, uh, beautiful house. Nice chandelier. It's crazy just how much stuff got left behind here. All right, let's uh, move along into the kitchen. So here we have the uh, really fancy kitchen. This is nuts. <laughs> like what's crazy too is that they left all of the, uh, the dinnerwares and everything. All still here. I don't think I've been to a house like this in quite some time. Where it's super fancy, very very large, and pretty much almost everything left behind. Easy. Just like look at it from this this point of view. Nuts. Got a uh, Apple computer over here. It's like a lot of debris all over the floor. People clearly been coming and making a mess of things. Let's see what's in here. Just a pretty random set of objects in there. The old microwave. Big stainless steel fridge. Another microwave. TV right there. Wow. <laughs> Just from this angle, you really see how cool this looks the color combination
This room here is pretty crazy. Looks like uh, an old office. Very ornate. Closet with some kids' little puzzle pieces. This is cool. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that probably cost a fortune. Got a bunch of paperwork here. People have clearly gone through. Got a uh, another Arabic thing over there. This is the uh, office area. Right there. Really nice, high quality furniture. So clearly these people had tons of money. And uh, who knows where they are now. Wow. Crazy, man. It's crazy to think that people leave stuff like this behind. Just a multi-million dollar house. And we are right on the ocean, too. I will show you guys that when we get up the stairs. Um, but there is something in the garage that we have to go and absolutely take a look at. I think the uh, funniest thing that I've noticed so far is these three brand new packs of paper. Just chilling here. Got a vacuum in that closet. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm about to head over to the garage and uh, see what's in there. So here we have several closets. Tons of clothes lying around. There's a uh, bathroom, pretty fancy. Small, one little shower. I believe the garage is back here somewhere. Laundry room. Oh, there we go. Damn. Car seat right here. We got, uh, looks like a BMW, and then a Mercedes as well. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. There's another TV in here. All right, which one do we want to look at first? I think this one looks pretty freaking awesome. Very dusty. I don't know what happened in here. You can see all this nastiness. I don't know if it was just from the fact that it's been sitting so long. But yeah, that's uh, the inside of it. Kind of grody. Clearly hasn't been uh, driven in quite some time. But uh, I'm not really 100% sure which model car this is. Uh, I'll check the badge on the back afterwards, but it looks like it's a probably a twin turbo. I don't know. But wow, <laughs> pretty freaking wild. Just the fact that there's two cars in here and these are probably worth quite a bit of money. So the uh, BMW is a 750Li. Then we have Frickin' Benz in here. It's uh, quite a disaster. Damn, dude. This car's clearly been sitting here a long time. Wow. But, I mean, realistically, it's not in bad shape. Probably runs. Wouldn't be surprised. Got a bunch of stuff back there, but it's a little bit of a mess getting back there. What do we have in here? Looks like... A gym. A lot of fitness equipment anyways. Ugh, this is a lot of raccoon poo. Let's just be careful where we step. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it's like a little gym. Another bathroom right there. It's uh pretty nasty. That's some things that have been knocked over here. Pretty cool. <laughs> Got a TV right there. All right, I think uh, we can go and explore the upstairs now. I don't know if there's a basement in here, but we'll see. Yeah, there is an elevator. Yeah, so it would have been uh, 
That's crazy. That's call, cool. and then I guess once the the car actually arrives, you press this, and it'll probably unlock the door, and you get right. an elevator. And then he just goes out to the car, or whatever. I guess so. Yeah. That's cool. I was wondering what. This I mean, it could was. have been designed. Maybe there was somebody who was disabled who was living here. Maybe. So they're like, oh, it might it might make sense to have an elevator, right? Yeah, so, I don't know. Yeah. All right. I'm I go did and... see the stairs that go downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I'll check shoot, that out I'm afterwards, but. It? All right, it's finally time to uh, head upstairs. This should be pretty interesting. Whoa, yeah, Chad wasn't kidding. Holy clothes. <laughs> that is a lot of clothing. Wow. Whoa, what the hell? I don't know how many bedrooms are up here, but... Yeah, look, they must have had a newborn, because the... Uh, crib is right next to the bed dude they literally quite literally left everything oh the tv's been smashed go figure look at this curtain that leads to something oh wow holy crap <laughs> there's an entire room back here Got a Corvette bed, so they probably had like a, a young boy, clearly, who was very into Corvettes, apparently. Got a giant teddy. Huh. Holy crap, dude, so much stuff. Look at all this. Wow. Another fireplace. The way this room is kind of like split off, I guess it was supposed to be part of the master and then they just decided, you know what, let's just make another room over here. Yeah, there's like a lot of pill bottles everywhere, uh, random literature, more poo right there. So clearly the raccoons have been coming in. <laughs> there's probably a raccoon in here somewhere right now. Be surprised. Okay, let's go back out to the uh, the main. Oh, tripped over something. So yeah, this is the uh, master bedroom. Clearly, somebody thought it would be a great idea to go and smash this. I am gonna go out here, just check out the views, but we'll do that last. So I think we'll go. Oh wow, look at that! I just noticed that there's another seating area right over there. Holy stuff. Got another room down there, it looks like. Oh yeah, this is uh, probably like, looks like a 10 year old's room. Oh, there's two beds in here. Oh wow, okay. There's like paper all over the place, random uh, part of the box of the uh, the bed in the other room. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Clearly they liked uh, Toy Story and Spider-Man. Okay. Oh, and Spongebob. That's cool. I mean, everybody loves Spongebob. Even if you're an adult, you love Spongebob. Well, here's the... Uh, what would have been the upstairs part of the elevator. Got another bathroom over here. What is this thing? Oh, it's like another kid's item. Got a random crutch. Somebody probably had an injury. You got the uh, bathroom over here. Very 80s. <laughs> Ew, somebody used the toilet, which uh, this bathroom connects to another room here. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, we got more Corvette stuff. That's kind of cool. It's like a like a toolbox sort of thing. We got a smashed computer. Man, there was quite a few people living in this place. I don't know exactly like how many children they had, but clearly there was a lot of people living in here. And we got the other seating area over here. You can view everything from up here. Wow, so freaking beautiful. I mean, they clearly had like rich people taste, <laughs> if you ask me. We got one really long receipt. I don't think I've ever seen a receipt that long from Staples before. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, looks like there's one more room. Oh, there's another floor? What the hell? I did not realize that. Another bathroom here. Not gonna lie though, for a house like this, the uh, bathrooms are pretty underwhelming. I do like this giraffe though, that's pretty cool. Another used toilet. And what's crazy too is the fact that they lift like even just toiletries, you know, toothbrushes and stuff like that. I noticed that downstairs too. But yeah, like it's not, they're not fancy bathrooms by any means. <laughs> Like, down, uh, even in the master, it's not nothing crazy. Got one random hallway here. Look at all this, like, yellow stuff all on the walls. I don't know what that is, but... I got another bedroom here that looks to be set up, so... Clearly people were... Living in this, too. This looks like, uh, it was probably a, a girl's room. Uh, or maybe multiple girls, I would suppose, since there's two beds. And I guess they injured their leg, because that looks like some sort of leg cast thingy. Okay, let's go and see what's up here. So a lot of times when I come to these places, I try not to look at anybody else's video. I know my good friend Big Banks was here not too long ago. Um, but I don't like to give things away to myself. Damn, dude, we have, like, another entire room up here. More couches. Looks like a cool place to hang out. Damn. We got a beautiful view of the outside. Take a look at this. Wow. Look at that. There's the ocean right there. What a freaking sight. Imagine that. You have this beautiful, gigantic mansion. A random Corvette thing right there. But you have this beautiful view of the ocean. And your own walkout. <laughs> to go right to it if you wanted. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy hit the shores of Mid-Atlantic United States, a Category 3 storm that was recorded as the largest Atlantic hurricane on record with winds reaching a whopping 1,150 miles. The storm caused over $70 billion in damage, including this house. Many of the U.S. states declared a state of emergency, including Virginia, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. 233 people lost their lives during Hurricane Sandy, and it is surprising that this home even withstood the force of the storm. But after 2012, this family that owned the home repaired it and officially deemed it hurricane proof. So I kind of wanted to go back to that room, um, the big one back there, just to take a look at the view outside. Because we saw it from the third floor, and I think it's worth checking from the balcony too. Oh, check this out. There's a lot of debris up here. Because people smash the freaking door for some odd reason, but wow, look at this view. The backyard here is amazing too. They probably had some crazy freaking parties back when they were living here. 
Wow. I don't know what's going on in here. For some reason there's a mattress blocking the way. Oh, I just realized that this was actually the ensuite bathroom, so I was completely mistaken. I figured there was. Yeah, this bathroom's actually quite nice. I don't know why there's so much stuff blocking the way in. There's another like closet right there. Whoa. Let's get this stuff out of the way here. Excuse some more. Oh wow, look at that. Got a nice stand-up shower. They even had a TV in here, of course. Look at that. Got the, uh, probably the wife's dress. This is actually nice, look at that. Got the beautiful view of the ocean right there. A uh, fridge. Two sinks. They left tons of stuff in here too. And you guys might be wondering why there was a fridge in here. Probably because she had an, an infant, so. Little baby. Obviously they would have needed like, you know, to store milk and stuff like that. Let's see what is back here. Just as soon as we can get through it all. I don't even think I can really get in here because it's a freaking disaster, but it just looks like a pile of clothes. And we got more in here for clothes. Lamps, a couple other odds and ends, nothing too crazy. But uh, I kind of want to go and check this basement. Okay, pretty much one more little walkthrough. At least you guys get to see it from this vantage point as well. And then uh, basically just heading straight to the basement to check that out. Because apparently it's pretty cool down there. So at first, we didn't even realize there was a freaking basement, at least an entrance to get to it. I knew there was one because I saw some freaking, holy crap, it's dingy and scary down here. <laughs> Let's turn up the uh, light a little bit here. This is uh, actually kind of freaky. Whoa, what the hell is this? Random chairs and a blanket. What the hell? There's a whole other bed down here. Just a bathroom. I love how there's like this random box thing that I almost just smashed my head off of. Old furniture. Yeah, it's kind of gross down here, not gonna lie. There ain't no mattress, so I guess nobody was actually staying down here. But uh, it's oddly warm down here. It feels very empty. Okay. See if this light goes any higher. Nope, that was the highest setting. Okay, what the heck? Whoa. Huh. Oh, yeah, it looks like uh, there probably was a projector. These little zebra print seats. So the uh, actual screen was probably there. So this was like a, like a mini theater area. Everything's literally just coming apart at this point. It's been abandoned for so long, neglected. Not gonna lie though, it's really creepy down here. There's another car, <laughs> another car bed. So I guess maybe if they wanted to just chill out down here and the kid was sleepy, maybe they would have just gone in there. Oh man, there's a whole other area back here. Whoa. Oh, I think this is all the storage from the stuff that's uh, for outside. Wow. Damn. Old moldy bags. Random tennis shoe. 
There's a generator back there. That's pretty much it. Let's uh, make our way back out this way. A lot of water jugs. Let's see if there's anything else down here that might be interesting. Really, nope. That's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting place if you ask me. Very, very unique. All right, guys, that was the abandoned beach mansion that belonged to this crime family. Uh, the story is still quite a bit of a mystery. There's been a lot of different rumors. It's almost kind of like a broken telephone at this point. We do know that there's obviously some sort of strange mystery as to how these people got so rich, how they bought the home, um, and what it is that they did exactly. Like I said, there's been a lot of rumors. Um, they may have been involved in the mob. They may have been involved in frauding the bank. Um, we don't know. There's a lot of crazy parts. There was even one story that the FBI raided the home and after that, the family just essentially fled the country. No one has any idea where they are, and the house is just sitting empty to this day. We don't know if they'll ever be back. We don't know what's going to happen to this house, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, smash the like button and subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on. We're gonna be mixing it up on this channel with a lot of different stuff between abandoned, haunted, adventure, all sorts of crazy things. And of course, extreme travel is coming very, very soon as well. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching and love ya, bye-bye.